<laughs> oh no! So the left Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to visit Brussels and I'm going to explore the city. I'm going to be a tourist in my own country. The meaning of today's video is that I'm going to show you what you can visit when you are in Brussels. In case you're wondering why I'm always sitting in the front is I'm learning how to drive the car so when I sit in the front I can check my dad and my mom is in the back but normally I'm the one who is in the back. So it's raining and that's really sad but right now I am at the Louisa Lan and that's the name in Dutch and in French it's Avenue Louise and this is a shopping tree but <laughs> but this shopping street is especially for designer stores such as Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Dior etc and um, yeah, this is really famous. I'm going to show you the shopping street. So I forgot to say that there are two streets of the Louisa Land or the Avenue de Louise. And on the other side of the designer stores, there are casual stores such as Zara and Calcedonia. I'm just looking at that right now. What's that? I bought a new belt from Hermes. Oh, this is what I meant by casual stores. So there we have the Palace of Justice and it's quite old and next to that we have the Ferris wheel. about Second World War, 1914 and 1918. So here you can see the view of the city Brussels. Come closer. And there is the Basilic of Kukolberg. And also the Ferris wheel is called the view. So that's why I said here's the view. That is still the Palace of Justice. And I forgot to say that it's under construction right now. So our next destination is Chinatown. And we actually need to be there to buy some Asian stuff. It's typical Belgian actually. There's a lot of diversity here and that's so beautiful about my country. I'm going to give you a few fun facts about Belgium. Not only is Brussels the capital of Belgium, it's also the capital of Europe. And the headquarter of the European Parliament is situated... Oh no! Again, again. And the headquarter of the European Parliament is situated here in Brussels. So right now I am at Chinatown. I'm in an Asian store in Chinatown where we always go. I think I already filmed in this store. Yeah, probably. Now I am standing. Oh, you cannot really see me. Okay, this is Mochi. So normally here is the Christmas market. Yeah, you know when the holidays are around, it will always be situated here. Mom, feed me. Oh my god! <laughs> now 
now we're on our way to the other shopping street and that is called Rue Neuf or the Dutch version Nieuwstraat. That's the second shopping street here but that's more famous because um, the stores are all normal. you didn't notice, waffles is something typical Belgian. We're done with shopping and right now we're taking a break and that's why we're going to drink bubble tea. So I got the taro flavored bubble tea and that is like a purple potato and in the Philippines they say ube. If you didn't notice I'm at the market square of Brussels and it's really beautiful. I like the old buildings. that he's wearing today. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me properly but what I was trying to say is that Monica Peace always gets dressed up every holiday. So the chocolate museum is nearby Monica Peace and I'm going to show you that because Belgium is known for their chocolate so I really need to show this to you So, yeah, I don't know So the last... <laughs> so the last thing that we're going to visit is Hard Rock Cafe here in Brussels because you know, Hard Rock Cafe is like so famous, but like it's everywhere. So I really need to show you guys. Okay. As you can tell, it's really windy today. You're still filming? Like Dr. Martin's hurts, so now I'm like this. <laughs> yeah, it really hurt because you know, Dr. Martin, but I love their shoes though. Aren't you excited to go to the Hard Rock Cafe? Because I am. You're a Hard Rock fan. Yeah. ACDC man. But I still have this. Is this okay? Is this allowed? You just have to throw it there. Monument of Belgium, the Atomium, because in one of my videos I already showed you how the Atomium looks like. 
So that's why we're not going to the Atomium today and also it's far from the center so we have to go there and then also find a parking spot and that's why it's, it's quite difficult. So I'm really sorry. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you're going to visit Brussels one day and maybe I can be your tour guide so that will be fun. Okay, see you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you. Bye. Hey, feeling good, like I should